Hey guys, this is Juan from Team Sketch React, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Stratus together with Storybook.js. And first, I want to show you uh, a great article about seven tools for building your design system in 2020 by Jonathan Saring. Saring, maybe. Uh, this is a really great publication on Medium bits and pieces. And we are honored to be among these giants that you find here. So uh, down here we are. Awesome. Thank you. And up here you find Storybook. So way before I even found this article, I was thinking about how can we use Storybook together with our new version. And this is how you do it. So, you are here in our app, and all of these things you see here are actually style components that you find here. Here are all of these sweet things. And when you set this up with Storybook, you get this fantastic auto generated style guide site where you can add all of these things how awesome is that let me show you in sketch how this document looks like here it is we have everything here and here are the colors and you need to do a couple of things in code and i'm going to show you everything how to install this how to create all of these things in this very tutorial i'll be right back i'm back i'm running a bit of a cold here so i apologize beforehand i'm sorry anyway what i did was uh created a new project from scratch and it's it lives here uh here is the entire project folder. I have my sketch file here. And here it is in sketch, style guide 202. And uh, it opened up the sketch file in Stratos app. So, how do we do this? First of all, since running React, we need to make sure that we start the React server first. So, that's what I always do in the beginning. So to do that, I drag this entire folder onto Visual Studio Code. Uh, here we have the same project. Here's the sketch file, of course, it doesn't display it here. This is a code editor. And uh, here's uh, everything else, the React, blah, 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 blah. So the components you have here, um, ba -dum, ba -dum. terminal, new terminal. And as always, we do this, npm install. Right now we are inside the correct folder, so it auto finds everything and it downloads all the packages that you need for creating our React server. Uh, without the React server, you have nothing. Uh, what you actually see here is the HTML render of our sketch file, but uh, the whole thing with Stratus is that we now support custom React components, custom React libraries, etc, etc. You will want to start that React sweetness as soon as possible. And we are also going to uh, be using the React version of Storybook. So, everything installed fine. Let me just type npm run start. And see what happens we hopefully it works yeah sorry I got distracted let me command click on this one and it will start Chrome and here it is Stratos development server how sweet is that awesome so next up what we need to do is since we want to uh, be using this with Storybook, we need to uh, install Storybook onto this very fine thing here. So, 
let us check out how you do that. I'll be right back. So, uh, I found this on the storybook.js.org page. So, what you need to do is copy this one, MPX thing here, copy. And in the terminal window here, since we are in the correct folder, this should work. Let's hope. Ah, one thing. First, we need to stop the server. This is can be very confusing if you're not used to this stuff. Before installing new packages, you need to stop the server. I very often forget about this. So I have stopped the server. I control C stops everything. Then we can paste the command like that. And it starts installing here. You may have noticed that it created a hidden folder here. It's, I know it's hidden because it has a dot before it. And in that folder you find the configuration files for a storybook. Like that. So this takes a little while. But it's totally worth it. Of course you only need to do this once per project. One thing I can uh, mention. I have tried this several times and many times I have failed. The only time it works is when I don't use blank spaces between words in the project folder name. So that's the reason that I the folder is called Storybook Tutorial from Scratch. No spaces there. And the project status project file also the same. So do like this. So it had it has finished installing things and it tells me npm run storybook. Let's do that. npm run storybook. Hit enter. So I have another port uh, unavailable so I, it asks me if I want to use the other one. So type Y. Yes. Like that. And we have Storybook running. And this is of course nothing of the things that we have here because that's what you need you need to do in the next step. This is just uh, the tutorial things that get uh, installed by default. Um, so in this next step I'm going to show you how to add our style components that we have here, H1, H2, onto storybook stories that you have here. So this is the, the one called Welcome Stories, is the one that you find. It's this one. And then you have one, the, the, the one button stories, it's, it's these guys here. And I'm going to explain how to use this in a short while. So okay, how do we add our components here to Storybook? It's actually not difficult. So we do it one by one. Uh, so let's go into Visual Studio Code and I have a, a, an already made project uh, here. This was the test project to when I learned this uh, and we are going to this is like my cheat sheet because of course I'm new to this also and I need to check this one from time to time so let's go and start with doing this we can keep this the welcome story but the button story we can just take everything away also we're going to rename it Let's rename it. We can call this uh, typography instead. Ruffy. Like that. And let's look what's happened here. Let's reload this one. This one right now. Um, is this the correct one that is running? Let me check this out. Should be. Uh, let me do this instead to always make sure where you are. Let's stop the server. Control C. And then npm run storybook. Like that. 
yes, we are on in the correct space. Cool. So, what we need to do now is start adding these ones. And let's check out our cheat sheet. Here's our cheat sheet. First of all, we need to add import React from React. Okay? So, that's the first thing. Boom. And then we will start adding all our typographic components. So, what you do then is you do like this. Let's just copy this one so we can remember what to do. Like that. And the reason it's, it's a bit grayed out is because it's not in use at the moment. But don't worry about that. So this is, we imported the H1 from our components folder there. Let's import more things. Import H2 from, and then you do like that. Two dots and then slash and it gives you this nice way of adding structure going down deeper down there components startles and h2 here it is h2 like that and then let's do that this is a line break and then let's just copy all the other ones shall we this is takes way too much time so copy 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 you get the idea of what you need to do here, like that. So I imported lots of stuff here. And then we need to apply this to something. Uh, first of all, if you input this, export default title, Stratus Typography, you will get a new name here. Let me check, let me show you. So let's copy this one. Go like that. And if we save right now and build, we will see what happens. Nothing happens here because uh, I, we haven't added this to anything yet. yet. We need to apply our components to something. And this is typography. So let's copy this one first and I will explain what this is. So. Heading one, and then I have our component here. H1 should be styling this text. And you see now that this one has lit up, so it's active. Let's save and check it out. So here it is Stratus typography, heading one. How awesome is this? It's nice, isn't it? And let's just copy paste all of this stuff here, man. We don't have time. I'm the, the TV chef. Like that. And save again. It, the webpack built. And let's check it out. Boom, boom, boom. Check this out. So, the cool thing now, I mean, this is nice, but the cool thing now is that our sketch file here is, of course, linked via our app here, Stairs app. And it's live linking. So if we change something, say that we change, say that we change, let's make something that we can see instantly. We change the color, we can change the size also, but let's just change the color. And let's use our own colors. Let's say that we make this one in this one instead. And save. Uh, let's check it out like that real time my friends this is extremely useful so you can be over here editing stuff and it will auto update here the components will auto update okay not nothing else the components that you have added of course so that is amazing actually Let's add another thing here. Let's add the colors. So let's check out our cheat sheet document. I made a story here. 
that you of course can copy so let's do like this I noticed it's really difficult to duplicate stuff inside Visual Studio Code so what I why I do is I reveal in Finder like that and I just duplicate it here and then we need to change the name of this uh, let's call it colors so let me copy my thingy here like that my pre-made stuffy stuff like that and now let's see it gave us an error so I figured out what was wrong these components hadn't been added and that is because I hadn't visited the components page the page that you have here this one needs to be visited once and then it get at it gets added to our export thing so and that was the problem so first of all you need to make sure that you visit each page that has components on them and then they get added to our thing here stratus here now now you can see them and now it doesn't give me an error because here are the colors like that how beautiful is this so by now you probably are celebrating or something uh, because you understand that this way of working is bananas you know so you are actually live creating react components from sketch using them in real time building up your design system via storybook and uh, it's actually kick-ass and we are super happy to show you this and in a couple of weeks you will receive if you have bought uh, any of our DLC uh, via Gumroad or if you are a patron of ours you will receive this very same a newer version of this one actually the Stratos Alpha 1 that was all for me man cheers have a great one Prepare to leave.